in this sewing tutorial I am going to show you how to make this adorable fabric basket. Hi guys, I'm Cassie from Furridale Creation and I make sewing tutorials every single Wednesday. They are either on how to use your sewing machine or simple sewing tips and tricks. In order to make this fabric basket you are going to need 6 inch squared of outer fabric, 6 inch squared of the lining fabric, 6 inch squared of the fusible fleece. For decoration purposes you can use some rickrack that's optional, ribbon for the handles and some matching thread. I use fusible fleece all the time. One side is fairly rough which is the gluey side and the other side is a more fluffy side. I use it in my bag making, it's relatively inexpensive and it's perfect for projects like this. So this is a fusible fleece up, so this is the sticky side and we are placing our outer on top. And just try to remember not to have too much steam coming out of your iron otherwise you'll end up with wrinkles. So just do the same for all five pieces and I'll meet you here when we're done. So this is all five pieces of your fabric basket, outer pieces, all fused and complete. I would like you to lay out all of your fabric pieces like this so it looks like a T shape. I am going to use a 9014 needle, either a Microtech or a Universal is going to be fantastic for this project. I am also going to use a quarter of an inch foot, so all of my seams are a quarter of an inch. And I am going to set my stitch length to a 2.0. As you are looking at your T-shape, I want you to get this section here and just fold it over like so. And we are going to stitch down this seam. When you start sewing, I want you just to start a little bit away from the beginning and there'll be a reason why and I'll explain that later. So you're just leaving a little bit of space at the beginning there and you've got right sides together and you're just going to stitch a quarter of an inch all the way down. always good practice to press our seams open so we're going to do that right now in our fabric basket. This is our t-shape once again. These are the two sections that I have pieced together and this is the portion down here that I left slightly open which is going to marry up to this bit down here. So the next thing we are going to do is take this section here, turn it right sides together and do exactly the same as what we did on the first section, leaving a little bit open at the bottom here and I'll show you why later. Again I just have it a little bit away from the beginning and I am just going to stitch a quarter of an inch. Once again we are going to press this section down to make it flatter. We want our seams nice and flat. This is the first section of our fabric basket complete. This is like the, the top of the T and now we're going to work down. So we're going to get this piece of fabric here and we are going to do it right sides together. And the reason why we left that space is so we can get that seam enclosed. So as you can see here, I've got these two sections right side together and I'm just going to pull that back so you can see that we have enough room in order to create that seam all the way down there. So now we're going to start this seam right at the very beginning because we want to close all of this up. So now we're going to start this seam right at the very beginning because we want to close all of this up. So we're going to go all the way down at a quarter of an inch and finish this part off. And as we did before, we are going to press the seam down. Now this is what our fabric looks currently. We're going to get this last piece of fabric right sides together and sew straight down here. We 
we're not leaving a gap we're just going to sew straight down and once again we are going to press this is now what your fabric basket should look like so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on forming our fabric basket we are going to get this side here and we are going to marry it up against this side here and we are going to sew all the way down So you're going to end up with something that looks a little bit like this so this was the t-shape and now we are going to stitch these sides together do you see how it's now forming a box shape and now you're just going to close this guy in And now you should just be left with this one section here of your fabric basket just stitch down the final section and you're going to have like a little box so here's your fabric basket you can stop at this stage if you want to but i'm going to continue on and i'm going to make the lining of the fabric basket so if you just push out all of your corners and flip the box up so that's how it looks so far i'm going to put a little bit of detail on my fabric basket this is called rick rack and i'll show you how to do that first of all take the arm section off your machine just so you can get your fabric basket right in there like so and I've now switched to my regular foot also you'll want to use some coordinating thread this is the best I have um, to your rick rack as that will give the best results I'm going to start in the middle of my fabric basket and I'm going to start a little bit of a way from the beginning of my rick rack as well just leave a little bit free and start sewing through the center of your rick rack all the way around the basket you also don't want to be too near the top of your fabric basket because we need to fold this right sides out when we have our lining in place when we get near to the other side of the rick rack we want to cut it off a little bit further and we want to match this rick rack to the shape of the other rick rack so here is our fabric basket the outside of it is all complete so we are now going to do our lining and i'll go through it's the same process i'll just go through it quicker set your fabric up in your t shape and fold these two sections together first we are going to leave a little bit of a gap at the beginning leave your space at the beginning quarter of an inch foot on and so remember to press form your t-shape back again making sure you have this little gap here at the bottom get this piece of fabric right sides together start a little bit in and sew all the way down and press again form your t-shape again making sure you have these open seams and then you're going to grab this piece and you're going to fold it over and then you're going to sew down this line here making sure that you move these out of the way so you can get right in there press again form back your t-shape and then you're just going to get this piece here 
flip it over and you're going to sew right down here and we're just going to press this section once again make our t-shape again and we are going to grab this section here and we're going to put it right up to here and we're going to sew all the way down here this is our t-section once again so now we are going to marry these two sections here so this is the T section right here and it's starting to form in a fabric box we are just going to sew the remaining seams like so just have one seam left to sew on this basket now you have your outer fabric box and your lining of your fabric box and I just want you to open your lining out and we're just going to move on to the handles now it's up to you how long you want your handles this is a meter of ribbon so I'm literally just going to fold the ribbon in half and make that the length of my handles for my fabric basket this is where wonder clips come in really useful you've heard me talk about wonder clips time and time again so I am going to look at my box so you want to look at it like this just pinch in these sides and we're just going to put our handles on and we are going to attach them with our wonder clips like so I might just make these handles a little bit shorter like that and clip this on here so this is one side done so you're just going to turn the opposite side over and you are going to attach your other handles on this side so I basically have this ribbon just so it's touching the bottom of the box there if you want your ribbon to be the same length as I've just now cut it it is now measured in at 15 inches just make sure you have a slight overhang at the top for your ribbon because you want all your ribbon to be enclosed so you currently have both your fabric baskets like this I want you to flip your lining fabric so it's inside out like so and I would like you to place this portion here of the fabric basket inside of the lining fabric so once you're finished it's going to look like this so this is the outer here and this is your lining fabric right here so you're inside of each other make sure that your handles are far down and everything is straight at the top like so because we don't want to catch our handles just be mindful of that a few points that I want you to bear in mind so we are going to be flipping this right sides out so I want you to start your stitches maybe about here and I want you to end your stitches maybe about here so you have this big gap because you want to flip all of this right sides out and we have a bit of bulk here so we want to not be forcing it and we want it to be really easy of getting it through this open space here the next thing I want you to bear in mind is getting your seams your seams here all in line with your lining fabric as well as your top fabric once again I have taken off the arm of my sewing machine so I can get my basket right into the sewing machine and I'm starting a little bit away from this 
corner seam here because I want to leave that space in order to flip my fabric basket right sides out so I'm going to start sewing around a quarter of an inch and I am just going to be mindful of my little handles here so you may have to lift your foot up and down as you're going past but we are just going to go all the way around the basket and we're going to stop a little bit of away from the other corner As you can see from that video, I was stopping and starting all the time, lifting my presser foot up and down. That's perfectly fine. It's perfectly normal. Just go as fast or as slow as you feel comfortable. Now I am coming to this final end here. I am going to come a little bit further in and I'm just going to leave a space. Now you can see here how I have left this space here in my fabric basket. I am just going to snip these little bits of ribbon here off because we don't need them. Now we're going to get this end of this basket and we are going to flip everything through that opening. going to be a little bit of a struggle but just keep pushing everything through so you're going to end up with something a little bit like this so now we're going to push everything inside of the basket and we are going to close that opening hole up I recommend just getting your iron and just flatten all of these down and when you come to your opening just fold everything back the way it wants to go and fold it flat so I've just gone in there and flattened all of my fabrics down so it's a little bit manageable this is my open part and we are going to top stitch all the way around this basket so everything is all flattened and perfect you may just want to switch your top thread out to a matching color so i have orange and i am doing a little bit smaller than a quarter of an inch top stitch here and i'm going to go all the way around my basket just to finish that off and just help to flatten the lining down so just watch when you come to your little handles here that you're not catching anything and go all the way around just guiding all of that fabric basket through Go as fast or as slow as you want, it's not a race. Here is the final project. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to give me a like and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss seeing me next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.